It's Wednesday, May 7, 2008, and you're watching The Ointment. I'm Steve Tatum, and today is School Nurse Day, so celebrate as you see fit. Our top story in politics, it's all over but the crying, and there will be crying. As Senator Hillary Clinton had a bad day yesterday at the ballot box in Democratic primaries in North Carolina and Indiana, and it appears that Senator Barack Obama is headed for the Democratic nomination for the presidency of the United States. Let's just put it this way, there's going to be a big pantsuit sale in Chappaqua. Wednesdays here on the show I have a special guest in the studio and today I have on a comedian. Yes, a comedian. His name is Kevin Avery. He's a very funny guy. He has a podcast I want you to check out. You can find it on RooftopComedy.com. It's called Siskel and Negro. Hey Kevin, how's the personal life going? What's going on in the life of Kevin Avery, huh? I, it's, it's, I'm going through this weird point in my life right now where uh, I am an adult, you know? Uh, you know, full grown, but uh, but I'm not a grown up. You know what I mean? It's sort oh, of yeah. this weird kind of not quite midlife crisis. Uh, for instance, until very recently, um, I had a really nice apartment. I used to live in San Francisco. I had a really nice apartment in San Francisco. Uh, sheets on the windows. <laughs> like a full set, you know, like I lived like a freshman, you know? And, uh, and so, and, you know, when you're a grown man leaving the house every day with sheets on the windows, you're pretty much saying to yourself, ah, I don't need to have sex tonight, screw it, you know? <laughs> Got a full night plan, some Magic the Gathering, comic books, Babylon <laughs> So it's just, you know, that's not, because every guy knows he can't bring a woman home to sheets on the windows. No woman, you know, wants to be bent over the bed and turn around and see, you know, Frodo Baggins blow into the breeze. It's like, oh, it's Lord of the Rings, my favorite. Nice going. Uh, put the staff down there, it's creepy. So, so not just sheets, but Lord of the Rings sheets. I, yeah, I had them all. I had, uh, you know, spiders. Oh, you'd rotate. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'd put the little spidey sheets up there and, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a good time. So I just, yeah, they're all, like my brother, that dude's a grown up. You know, he's got like the whole, like the regular 9 to 5 job. He's got the wife and kids, the new house. He can tell the difference between various cheeses. You know, that, <laughs> yeah, we all know that jackass. He, you know, he's just like, it's monster. You know, he's got that down. So like, you know, I can do that, but it, you know, it's like, I mean, I craft, and that's it's on the record. So, yeah. But uh, yeah, like he was asked, I was asking him, he just has this really condescending attitude towards me too. And so I was asking him recently about his, uh, about his new house. Cause I don't, you know, I don't know anything about buying houses or real estate. I, I always figured, he, you know, you just go to the house store and well, take the red one, you know, you're done. And uh, so I was like, hey man, did you get the new house? Did you get the new house? And he just came off so sweet. He's just like, <laughs> uh, no, Kev, you don't just, uh, oh. You don't just get a new house. <laughs> no, it's an escrow. <laughs> Which, yeah, and that's it for me in the conversation because I don't know what the hell escrow means. So, and I, I just remember I was sitting there with it. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to piece it together in my mind just by the way the word sounds. The only thing I can kind of think of is like maybe, like if I were a pimp, I would drive an escrow. You know? <laughs> Doesn't that sound? You know, check out kids. You kind of like escrow, baby. <laughs> Spinning rims on the escrow. So. <laughs> I'm, it's good to be back. Well, we're all thrilled that you came down. We're happy to have you here in Los Angeles and particularly happy to have you on The Ointment. And there's more of that interview with Kevin coming up on a future show. And finally, in technology news, the Webby Award winners were announced. And the winners, well, you know what? The Ointment didn't win, so who cares? Did you know you actually have to enter these awards in order to win? Outrageous. That's the ointment for another day. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve Tatum, and that's news. Catch you tomorrow, everybody.